All right, guys, day two in Greece. The weather is a little bit gloomy, but it's all right. It's morning, so we're gonna go out, see a bit more of the sights. So I just woke up a while ago. I'm a little bit hungry. So I just came to this coffee shop, got myself my coffee and this bagel looking thing. I think this is something to do with cheese. Hopefully it's gonna be delicious. Someone recommended to me. So um, we've got a whole day of adventure coming in front of us. So let's get started. I don't know what this is, but it's something to do with cheese, but it's delicious. It's very nice. It's the first place that I wanted to check out today is Acropolis. Hopefully the museum is open, which I doubt it is, but I'm still going to give it a try. I'm going to walk, I'm walking up there. As you can see, the walk here is beautiful. The surrounding is very nice. The weather is a tad bit gloomy, but the temperature is perfect. So it's going to be a nice walk. So right now I'm on my way to Acropolis. As you can see, I'm walking by a park, which is kind of nice. We've got cats everywhere, as you can see. And it's a beautiful city, what can I say? It's a nice walk as well. So last night in my previous vlog, it was night and it was dark. We probably couldn't see the scenes very well, but take a look at this. There's a temple right there up in the hills. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. So let me follow the route and let's see where it takes me. What up guys, so I've been walking and then I have finally reached Acropolis. Unfortunately due to COVID this area is closed, but I think we're as close as it can get as you can see. I've got the temples up there and it's actually really beautiful when you look at it and they, it's massive. That's what I'm saying. So, but we've got other hills that we can hopefully go down to and get a good view of Acropolis. So I'm going to try those out. So let's bounce. I've scoured the place a little bit and I've finally found a hill where I can get a good view of Acropolis. I think this is the best view we can get. There you go. How good is that? Absolutely beautiful. Good information down here. And then right now, this is where I'm at. Down on that side, we've got a view of Athens. So I'm going to go down there and have a look at what it looks like. Now behind me you can see Acropolis and then on this side we've got a view of the entire city. It is almost magical. Locals were telling me there's another good hill you can get a good view of Acropolis. So it's called Philippopolis Hill. That's what I'm trying to get at. People are telling me you just ride up this stairs. Hopefully you reach the top of the hill when you ride up the stairs. So let me go up and figure this out. And if I go to the hill and I find it, I'll definitely video it for you guys. So right now I'm going up Philippopolis Hill. As you can see, there are benches every few steps. 
I think people come there and chill, come here to relax. I've seen a people, I've seen a few people jogging downstairs. So there's all these people around from the looks of it. So let me go to the top. Hopefully it's not far away because I'm running out of breath. So guys, right now I feel like I'm on the highest point of the hill. This is the peak. As you can see, also have a great view of Acropolis from here. And if you go all the way down here, you can see the sea. And the entire freaking city. Take a look. So as you're walking down the hill, you'll probably see ruins like this. I'm very impressed by how well they've preserved it. So we've got gates down there and it's locked in. So I'm not even gonna try and go in. But by looking more into it, I've realized this is actually prison of Socrates. Now I actually don't know exactly what it is used for, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find some information on it. But at this point, this is just beautiful. It says free Socrates. And that's the prison of Socrates. Lol. So I've just stumbled across this gem of a place. It's basically open air cinema and the setup is beautiful. As you can see, this is where the people would sit and you've got the screen and you just chill and the ambience is absolutely beautiful. You've got, you've got the temples on the other side. This is such a wonderful place. Unfortunately, it is closed because of COVID times, but hopefully next time I'm in Greece, I'll be able to see where cinema down here. Fingers crossed. Another thing Greece is really famous for is their really good yogurt, their fresh yogurt. So basically I'm having some ice cream they've made with the fresh yogurt. This is my friend who has created the ice cream for me. I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna let you know how good it is. Yo, so basically I've got two flavors in here. I've got the Greek yogurt pomegranate and down here is the one with honey. They're both absolutely delicious. Cause maybe cause it's so fresh <laughs> and we're here in Greece after all. So I'm gonna dig into this. I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. Peace. Been walking and I found the Roman Agora again. So you saw it at night, now you can see it in the morning. And I'm not gonna lie, this just looks majestic. This is the closest I've been and god damn it's mesmerizing yo. So I've been walking and then we've just reached Plaka and then we've got a lot of stores down here, but it's just the streets down here. It's just so beautiful. It literally feels like I'm just walking through a movie set. Let me show you what it looks like. Right now we're in front of Odeon of Heroes Atticus. Now just by looking at the sheer size of it, I thought it was a stadium, but I was incorrect when I Googled it. So this is basically a theater. It was one of the bigger theaters back in the days. And then unfortunately, obviously, like everything else is closed, but I'm gonna try to give you a sneak peek of what the size approximately might be. Well, right now you can see the lock here, so you can get in. But basically I'm assuming this would be where the play would happen. This would be the area where the play took place. And people would sit all around watching it. It must have been amazing. It must have been a hoot. Come down here and do one of my magic shows, eh? <laughs> that would be amazing. Behind me, we've got Acropolis Museum. And then like everything else is closed right now because of the pandemic. They don't want people gathering in one place. But maybe when I'm here next time, I'll definitely go check it out. So I've always heard good things about the Greek cuisine. So since my last day here, I've decided to try out one of their 
authentic Greek cuisine. So this thing is called the moussaka. It's, so it's made with eggplant, minced beef, and potatoes. So I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It's actually quite nice. Guys, if you guys come down to Greece, you should give the moussaka a try. Definitely a must. That moussaka was massive. I'm full right now. If I could, I'd take a nap right now, but I'm, I can't. I'm actually in the park. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to the city center, which is about 20 minutes from here. And then I'll check out if any stores are open. I doubt they're gonna be. So eventually, I think I've pretty much covered all of Athens. Most of the major landmarks, so I'm gonna go home and chill, if that's the case. I've got my flight tomorrow, so it's gonna be the end of the day. All right, guys, I've decided not to go to the city and embark on a stupid adventure. I'm trying to, I wanna see the waters of Greece before I leave, so I'm going to one of the beaches. No idea how the hell I'm gonna get there. I've been speaking Greece and broken English. I'm trying to talk to people, figuring out where I'm gonna go. So, fingers crossed, hopefully I don't get lost before my flight tomorrow. Got on the bus, I have no idea where I'm going. Hopefully I've caught the right one. Let's see, we'll find out soon enough. Somehow after a crazy travel route, I've somehow made it. My wish to see the waters of Athens is complete. We have made it to the beach. I'm gonna walk in, check the water out, and you know what, let's go in. Let's see what it looks like. Yesterday after my journey to the beach, I was super tired and it's also a super long journey. So as soon as I came to the hotel, I crashed and I passed out. So this morning I got my flight out to Istanbul. So that'll be all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my day two in Athens and got some cool things to see. That's all for this vlog. Hopefully everyone stays well and healthy during this COVID time. This is Magic Razik signing out. Peace out.